Bismillah. In this video, I'm gonna solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4, October November 2020, Variant 2. 1. Carol traveled from London to Johannesburg and then from Johannesburg to Windhoek. The flight from London to Johannesburg took 11 hours 10 minutes. The average speed was 813 kilometers per hour. Calculate the distance traveled from London to Johannesburg. To find the distance, multiply the average speed by the time. But the time should be in hours. So the distance equals 813 times the time, which is 11 hours and for 10 minutes to convert to hours 10 over 60 so this is the time in hours 11 and 10 over 60 now multiply them to get the distance equals 9078.5 now to round to nearest 10 so 9080 B. The total time for Carol's journey from London to Windhoek was 15 hours 42 minutes. The total distance traveled from London to Windhoek was 10,260 kilometers. Calculate the average speed of this journey. Average speed, total distance over total time. I need the average speed kilometers per hour, so the time should be in hours only. 15 hours 42 minutes can be written as 15 hours and 42 over 60. So the average speed equals total distance, which is 10,260 kilometers over the total time, which is 15 hours and 42 out of 60. Now divide equals 653 Point 0.5 to 3 significant figure 654 kilometers per hour. Double I. The cost of Carol's journey from London to Windhoek was $470. A. Calculate the distance traveled per dollar. So divide the distance by the cost. The distance 10,260 kilometers and the cost 470. Dollars now divide equals 21.8 to 3 significant figure. B calculate the cost per 100 kilometers of this journey. Give your answer correct to the nearest cent. So for 10,260 kilometers, the cost 470 dollars. Now the cost for 100 kilometers cross multiply to find the answer equals 4.58 to nearest cent. C. Carol changed $300 into $3,891 Namibian dollars. Complete the statement. $1 equals how many Namibian dollars? So you can use a cross multiply also. So $1 equals how many Namibian dollars? So cross multiply. So 1 Time 3891 divided by 300 equals 12.97. Number two, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle T into triangle B. From T to B, translation to find the column vector, take this point and its image. To travel from this point to its image, one to the right. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down. So, 1 to the right and 6 down. So, this translation. Column vector, 1 and negative 6. Now, BI reflects the triangle T in the line X equal 1. So, is the line X equal 1, vertical line. Intersect x axis at 1, so draw the mirror line, then find the image. 
Now this is the mirror line. For this point, one to the right from the mirror line. So it's image one to the left from the mirror line. So this is the image. For that point, four to the right from the mirror line. So it's image four to the left. Now same for this point, four right, so four left. Now join the triangle. So this is the image by reflection on the line x equal one. Double I, rotate triangle T through 90 anticlockwise about six and zero. It's the center of in rotation, six and zero. Now rotate 90 anticlockwise, so 90 anticlockwise in this direction. Now for this point, if you rotate 90 anticlockwise, for this point, you can use tracing paper or without tracing paper also you can do for this point to find its image now from the center to reach this point one left then one up left up so rotate that 90 anticlockwise so one to the left will be one down so one down and one to the left so this is the image you can draw same for this point to travel from the center to that point so four left and one up four left one up so four down and one to the left so this is the image and the last point so one to the left and two up so one down and two to the left now draw join them So this is triangle by rotation 90 anticlockwise about 6 and 0. Triple I, enlarge triangle T by a scale factor of negative 2, center 1 and 0. Center 1 and 0. So this is the center 1 and 0. Now scale factor negative 2, enlargement by scale factor negative 2. So for this point, to travel from the center to this point, one to the right and one up, one to the right and one up, because the scale factor negative, so multiply the distance by two, but in the opposite direction. So one right, one up will be two left and two down. So this is the image, two left, two down. Now to find the image for this point, from the center, four right and one up, so multiply by negative 2, so 8 to the left, and 2 down, so this is the image, negative 7 and negative 2. Now you can find the third one, 4 and 2, so a 4 to the right and 2 up, so 8 to the left, and 4 down. Then join them. This is the image by enlargement. Scale factor negative 2. Center 1 and 0. Number 3. A. Bet invests $2,000 at a rate 2% per year compound interest. I calculate the value of this investment at the end of 5 years. So after 5 years, so 2000 times 1 plus 2 over 100 power 5. The answer 2,210 to 3 significant figures. Double I, calculate the overall percentage increase in the value of better investment at the end of 5 years. So from 2,000 to 2,210 to find the percentage increase Subtract 2,210 minus 2,000 over the original, which is 2,000, then multiply by 100, equals 10.5%. Triple I, calculate the minimum number of complete years it takes for the value of bet investment 
to increase from 2,000 to more than 2,500. So, 2,000 is the principal into 1 plus 2 over 100 power t. I need the value more than 2,500. So now you can try. You can put t equals 7 and find the answer. The answer less than 2,500 because 2,297. So we can increase the number of years. So t equals 10. If t equals 10, The total amount 2437 we can try 12 more than 2500 what about 11 11 less than 2500 so 12 t equals 12 this is the complete number of years for more than 2500 so t equals 12 because when t equals 12 2536 and when t equal 11 less than 2500 so t equals 12 so we need 12 years b the population of a village decreases exponentially at a rate four percent each year the population is now 255 Calculate the population 16 years ago. So, so the rule for exponential decay equals new value equals the old value into 1 minus r over 100 power t. We have the new value 255. We need to find the old value. 1 minus 4 over 100 power 16 so the old value equals 255 over 1 minus 4 over 100 power 16 equals 490 number 4 the height each centimeter of each 120 plants is measured the cumulative frequency diagram shows the infor this information. A. Use the cumulative frequency diagram to find an estimate of the median. To find the median, multiply half times the total frequency, which is 120. So equals 60. This is the order of the median. Now from 60, draw horizontal line till you reach the curve. Then go down. So 25, so the median 25. Double I, the interquartile range. To find the interquartile, you need to find the upper and lower. For the upper, 3 over 4 times the total frequency equals 90. Now from 90, between 80 and 100, horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. Thirty-two. So the upper quartile thirty-two. The upper quartile thirty-two. For lower quartile, one over four times one hundred twenty, which is thirty. Thirty between twenty and forty is thirty. Horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. Equals twenty-two. So for the upper quartile. The order 30 and the corresponding value 22. Now enter quartile 32 minus 22 equals 10. Triple I, the 60th percentile. To find the 60th percentile, multiply 60% by the total frequency. So 60% multiply 120 equals 72 now from 72 this 70 so 72 draw horizontal line till you reach the curve then go down 
Now we can draw a line. Twenty seven. So sixty percentile twenty seven. IV the number of plants with height greater than forty centimeter with a height greater than forty. Now from forty on the horizontal line, you draw a vertical line till you reach the curve, then find the corresponding value because I need greater than so one hundred twenty minus the corresponding value. Now the corresponding value for 40, 3 squares before 120, each square represents 2, so 114. I need greater than 40, so from 114 to 120, so 120 minus 114 equals 6. B. The information in the cumulative frequency diagram is shown in this frequency table. Calculate an estimate of the mean height. To find the mean, you need to find the middle value for each group, then multiply by the frequency, then divide by the total frequency. So the middle value for the first group, 5 from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 15, 20 to 30 to 25, 30 to 50, so 40. Then 5 times 2 plus 15 times 18 plus 25 times 62 plus 40 times 38 divided by the total frequency which is 2 plus 18 plus 62 plus 38 equals 27.9 to 3 significant figures. Double I. A histogram is drawn to show the information in the frequency table. The height of the bar representing the interval h more than 10 less than or equal 20 is 7.2. So this interval, the height 7.2. Now we need to find the height for the interval from 30 to 50. So we need to find the height for this interval. To find the height, you need to find the frequency density for this group, this interval and find the relation between the height and the frequency density. The frequency density equals frequency over class width. So for this group, 18 is the frequency. Divide the class width, 20 minus 10, which is 10. So 1.8. Now 1.8 times what equals 7.2? Divide 7.2 by 1.8, you get 4. So this means 1.8 multiplied by 4. So the frequency density multiplied by 4 to find the height. Do the same for this interval. Find the frequency density, then multiply by 4. So for the other group, the frequency density equal 38 over 50 minus 30, which is 20, equals 1.9. Now multiply by 4. So the height 7.6. Number five, Ahmed sells different types of cake in, the sh in his shop. The cost of each cake depends on its type and its size. Every small cake costs X dollars and every large cake costs 2X plus 1 dollars. The total cost of three small lemon cakes and two large lemon cakes is 12.36. Find the cost of the small lemon cake. So the cost of three small so 3 times x plus the cost of 2 large so 2 times 2x plus 1 equals 12.36 now we can find x so 3x plus 4x plus 2 equals 12.36 so 7x plus 2 equals 12.36 
So 7x equals 10.36 divide by 7 divide by 7 so x equals 1.48 so the cost for a small lemon 1.48 b the cost of 18 small chocolate cakes is the same as the cost of 7 large chocolate cakes find the cost of a small chocolate cake so 18 times x equals 7 times 2x plus 1 and solve 18x equals 7 times 2 so 14x 7 times 1 equals 7 now 14 to the other side by negative sign so 18 minus 14 equals 4 so 4x equals 7 divide by 4 divide by 4 so x equals 1.75 See, the number of small cherry cakes that can be bought for $4 is the same as the number of large cherry cakes that can be bought for $13. Find the cost of a small cherry cake. To find the number of a small cherry cake, divide the total cost by the cost of each, which is x. So 4 over x. Now the number of large cherry cakes, the cost of all, which is 13, over the cost of each one, which is 2x plus 1, they are equal, it's because same number, now cross multiply to solve for x, so 4 times 2x plus 1 equals 13x, so 8x plus 4 equals 13x. Now transpose 8 to the other side, so 13 minus 8, which is 5x, equals 4, divide by 5, divide by 5, so x equals 4 over 5, or 0 0.8. D. Better spends $20 on small coffee cakes, and $10 on large coffee cakes. The total number of cakes is 45. Write an equation in terms of x. Solve this equation to find the cost of a small coffee cake. Show all your working. So a 20 for small coffee cakes. So the number of cakes you can buy for $20. 20 over the cost of each one. So 20 over x. To find the number of large coffee cakes, we need to divide the total cost, which is 10, by the cost of each one which is 2x plus 1 the number the total number is 45 so equals 45 now you can make single fraction from the two algebraic fraction multiply the denominator so x times 2x plus 1 and for the numerator 20 times 2x plus 1 plus 10 times x equals 45 Now for the numerator, simplify the numerator, 20 times 2x, 40x, and 20 times 1 equals 20, plus 10x, over x times 2x, 2x squared, x times 1 equals x, equals 45 over 1, cross multiply, so 45 times 2x squared, equals 90x squared and 45 times x equals 45x equals 1 times 40x plus 20 plus 10x same 40x plus 20 plus 10x now put all in one side so you are left with 90x squared and you have 45 minus minus 40 minus 10 so negative 5x minus 20 equals 0 you can divide by 5 so 18x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0 you can solve this equation factorization or formula or use calculator to find the values then solve with factorization Mode 5 is 3, 
and a equals 18, b equals negative 1, c equals negative 4. So the first value for x, x equals negative 4 over 9, and the other value, x equals 1 over 2. x, the cost cannot be negative, so this rejected, the negative value rejected, so now x equals 1 over 2. Number 6. The diagram shows six disks. Each disk has a color and a number. One disk is picked at random. Write down the probability that the disk has the number four. So how many disks has number four? We have two out of six. So two over six. In the simplest form, one over three. For double I, the disk is red and has the number three. Red and has number 3 No disk has number 3 and red So the probability 0 Triple I, the disk is blue and has number 4 Blue and number 4 So number 4 We have two number 4, one of them blue So blue and number 4, we have one disk So 1 over 6 B, two of the six disks are picked at random without replacement. Find the probability that both disks have the number three. So the first one three and the second one three. For the first one to be three, the probability is two over six because we have two disks with number three and the total six, so two over six. Now for the second one to be three, we have one one disk with number 3 and the total 5, so 1 over 5. So equals 2 over 30. You can simplify to 1 over 15. Double I. Both disks have the same color. So the colors we have red, yellow, blue. But for red, we have one red, only one, so it doesn't work. So the two disks can be blue, both blue, or both yellow. So probability of blue and blue plus probability of yellow and yellow. Probability of blue and blue, we have three blue. So for the first one, three over six. And for the second one, two over five. Plus probability of yellow and yellow, we have two. So for the first disk, two over six. For the second one, one over five. So equals 4 over 15. C. Two of the six disks are picked at random with replacement. Find the probability that both disks have the same color. So with replacement, so we have three cases, yellow and yellow, blue and blue, red and red, because we will replace the first disk again. So we can get red and red, blue and blue, yellow and yellow. So, probability of red and red equals, we have one red, so one over six times one over six equals one over 36. Probability of yellow and yellow we have two yellow, so two over six times two over six, because with replacement, so equals one over nine in the simplest form. Probability of blue and blue, we have three blue, so three over six times three over six equals one over four in the simplest form. Then add them. So 1 over 36 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 4 equals 7 over 18 in the simplest form. Number 7, y equals x squared plus 1 over x, and x doesn't equal 0. Complete the table. We need to find y when x equals 1 and when x equals 2. When x equals 1, just substitute 1 squared plus 1 over 1. 
equals two so y equals two when x equal two just substitute by x equal two two squared plus one over two so four plus one over two so four point five d on the grid draw the graph y equals x squared plus one over x for x more than or equal 0 0.2 less than or equal 2.5 the graph of y equals x squared plus 1 over x for x more than or equal negative 2.5 and less than or equal negative 0 0.2 has been drawn for you so you need to complete the graph now plot the point 0 0.2 5 0 0.2 and 5 0 0.3, 3.4, 0 0.3, 3.4, 3 each small square represents 0 0.2, so 3.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0.5, 2.3, One and two, one and two, one point five, two point nine, one point five, two point nine, two, four point five, two. 4.5 Now join them with a small curve Now see, by drawing suitable straight lines on the grid, solve the following equations. i x squared plus 1 over x equals negative 2. The left hand side is the curve we draw. So to find the equation of the line, now substitute the curve by y. So the line you have to draw, y equals negative 2 y equals negative 2 horizontal line intersect y axis at negative 2 find the intersection between this line and the original curve so this is our line y equals negative 2 this line intersect the curve at one point we need to find the x coordinate for this point x coordinate for this point about negative 0 0.5 between negative 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.4 so we can write negative 0 0.45 double i x squared plus 1 over x plus x minus 1 equals 0 so to find the suitable line you have to draw keep the original function to the left so the suitable line will be to the right so this is the original curve x squared plus 1 over x now transpose x and negative 1 to the other side so x squared plus 1 over x equals negative x plus 1 so the equation of the line y equals negative x plus 1 substitute the original function by y so y equals negative x plus 1 now we draw this line and find the intersection between this line and the original curve so you can take two points if you put x equals 0 y equals 1 if you put x equal 1 y equals 0 
so zero one and one zero now join the line this is the line this line intersects the original curve at this point the x coordinate for this point negative 1.7 so the answer for this equation x equals negative 1.7 d k is an integer and the equation x squared plus 1 over x equal k has three solutions write down a possible value for k x squared plus 1 over x is the original function so it substitute by y so y equals k y equals k horizontal line and the k is an integer and this line intersects the curve at three points because three solution so the line y equals 3 intersects the curve at 3 points y equals 4 intersects at 3 points y equals 5 and so on y equals 6 if you extend the curve so k can be any integer greater than 2 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on so you can for example choose 4 8a the point a, B, C, D, and E lie on the circle. B, A, Q is a tangent to the circle at A. E, C equals E, B. Angle E, C, B equals 80. And the angle A, B, E equals 40. Find the values of V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now to find V, V is the angle between the tangent and the chord AE. The angle between the tangent and the chord equals the circumference angle opposite to the chord from the other side. So equals 40 or equals X. So angle V equals 40 and the angle V equals angle X. So V equals 40 and X equals 40. Also, you can say that x and 40 circumference angle opposite to the same arc, face the same arc, so they are equal. When you find angle, it's better to write in the diagram, so x equals 40 and v equals 40. Now to find w, it is given to you that ec equals eb, ec equals EB so we have a socialist triangle so angle W equals 80 because side equals side so angle equal angle so W equals 80 so write W equals 80 now for angle Y to find angle Y we have cyclic quad A B, C, E. This cyclic quad. The opposite angles in the cyclic quad add up to 180. So Y plus 80 equals 180. So you can find Y. 180 minus 80 equals 100. So Y equals 100. So now Y equals 100. Z. To find Z. E, B, C, D, also cyclic quad, this one cyclic quad. So the opposite angles add up to 180. So W equals 80, so this angle 180 minus 80, so this 100. This angle should be 100. Now we have X 40, so 100 minus 40 equals 60, so Z equals 60. B. In the diagram, K, L, and M lie on the circle center O. Angle K, M, L, K, M, L equals 2X. So this angle 2X. And reflex angle K, O, L, K, O, L, this one, the reflex angle Q equals 11X. So this angle 11X. 
find the value of x. We have a relation between angle M and angle O, central angle and the circumference angle opposite to the same arc. So the central angle twice the circumference angle. So this angle 4x. Now we have full term. So 11x plus 4x equal 360. 11x plus 4x equal 360 because full term. So 15x equal 360. Divide by 15. Divide by 15. So x equals 24. C. The diagonals of the cycle quadrilateral A, B, C, D intersect at X. Explain why triangle A, B, X is similar to triangle B, C, X. Give a reason for each statement you make. The two triangles are similar if the angles are equal. So to prove that they are similar, we need to prove that the angles are equals. Now angle ADP and the angle ACP opposite to the same arc, so they are equal. Same angle DAC, this one, and the angle DBC opposite to the same arc, arc DC, so they are equal. And angle DXA and CXB vertical opposite angles so they are equal so the angles of this triangle equal the angles of that one so they are similar so write the working angle adp equals angle acp because opposite to the same arc same Angle DAC and angle DBC, angle DAC and angle DBC are equal because opposite to the same arc or same chord. Now this angle AXD, angle AXD equals Angle BXC vertically opposite angles. So triangles are similar. Double I AD equals ten. So this ten centimeter. BC equals eight. BC equals eight. Bx equals 5, Bx equals 5, Tx equals 7, Cx equals 7. Now find Dx. We need to find Dx. If the two triangles are similar, so the sides are proportional. Now to write the proportion in a proper way, each side in this triangle has its corresponding in the other triangle. So BC, it's corresponding in the other triangle AD. So BC corresponding to AD. Now what about DX? It's corresponding to which side? To XC or XB? DX is opposite to this angle. And this angle, which is angle DAX, this angle equal angle XBC. This angle equals that one. So this side is corresponding to that one. So the corresponding sides opposite to the equal angles. So DX and XC corresponding to each other. So now 8 over 10 equals 7 over DX. 8 over 10 equals 7 over dx. Now cross multiply to find dx. So dx equals 10 
times 7 divide 8 equals 8.75 B calculate angle BXC BXC in this triangle we have three sides so we can find this angle using cosine rule so to find this angle in one step cosine inverse and bracket and the fraction the adjacent for this angle square and plus 7 square plus 5 square minus the opposite to this angle square over 2 times the 2 adjacent equals 81.8 to 1 decimal place number 9 the diagram shows a prism with a rectangular base a b f e the cross section a b c d is a trapezium with a d equals b c a b equals 8 centimeter g h equal 5 centimeter b f equal 12 centimeter and angle a b c equals 70 calculate the total surface area of the prism how many faces do we have in this prism we have six faces two trapezium and four rectangles if we start to find the area of the trapezium we have base one equals eight base two because hg equals five so d equals five so base two equals five now we need to find the height between them we don't have the height but if we drop perpendicular from c and perpendicular from d we have rectangle so if this five this also five now you can deduce that this distance and that one equals 8 minus 5 divided by 2 8 minus 5 3 3 divided by 2 1.5 so this distance 1.5 and that one also 1.5 so 1.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter from symmetric now we can find the height in this triangle we have this angle 70 we need to find the opposite and we have the adjacent so using 10 we can find the height so 10 70 equals h over 1.5 so h equals 1.5 10 70 equals 4.12 centimeter to three significant figures and also we can find BC now we have the adjacent and we need to find the hypotenuse so cosine cosine 70 equals the adjacent 1.5 over the hypotenuse which is BC so BC equals you can switch between cosine and BC so 1.5 over cosine 70 equals 4.39 centimeter to three significant figure now we can find the area of trapezium area of trapezium equals have base 1 which is 8 plus base 2 which is 5 times the height which is 4.12 equals 26.8 centimeter square and we can find the total surface area so the total surface area for the prism equal to trapezium so 26.8 times 2 and for the rectangle at the bottom 12 times 8 so 12 times 8 then the rectangle at the top which is 5 times 12 
so 5 times 12 and the two rectangles this one and the opposite one which is 12 times BC which is 4.39 so 12 times 4.39 times 2 because we have two congruent rectangles equals 314.96 so 315 centimeters square to three significant figures B the perpendicular from G into EF meets EF at X so drop perpendicular from G to EF so this X Show that EX equals 6.5 EX Now to find EX We have this 1.5 Because this is the same like that one So 1.5 From 8 So FX equals 1.5 so e x equals 8 minus 1.5 equals 6.5 calculate a x a x if you join a x so this triangle a e x right angle triangle because this angle 90 we have a e equals 12 because it's 12 and e x equals 6.5 so a x equals square root 12 square plus 6.5 squared equals 13.6 to three significant figures triple i calculate the angle between the diagonal a g and the base a b f e to find the angle between the diagonal a g and the base the diagonal intersects the base at a from G, if you drop perpendicular, this will be GX. And we need now we need to find the angle between AG and AX. So you need to join this AG. And now this is our triangle. We need to find the angle between AG and AX we need to find this angle we can call this angle theta so we need to find this angle so we have the opposite GX is the height we have the height and we have AX so we have opposite and the adjacent then we can find the angle using 10 GX is the height is 4.12 same and the adjacent AX equal 13.6 so theta the angle 10 inverse 4.12 over 13.6 equals 16.9 to 1 decimal place number 10 fx equal x squared plus 1 gx 1 minus 2x hx 1 over x jx 5 power x find the value of i f3 f3 so substitute x by 3 in the function fx so 3 squared plus 1 equals 10 gf3 so you need to find f3 which is 10 and substitute in g F3 equals 10, so take 10 and substitute in G. So 1 minus 2 times 10 
so 1 minus 20 so negative 19 find g negative 1 of x you need to find the inverse for the function gx to find the inverse now substitute gx by y so y equals 1 minus 2x and now make x is a subject so you can transpose negative 2x to the other side and y to the right hand side so 2x equals 1 minus y then divide by 2 divide by 2 so x equals 1 minus y over 2 it's the last step switch y to x so the inverse 1 minus x over 2 see find x when hx equals 2 hx equals 2 so this means 1 over x equals 2 cross multiply so 2x equals 1 divide by 2 divide by 2 so x equal 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 d find g x g x minus g g of x giving your answer in the form a x squared plus b x plus c so g x times g x so this means 1 minus 2 x times 1 minus 2 x minus g g x is a composite function put g in g so substitute x by 1 minus 2 x so 1 minus 2 and substitute x by 1 minus 2 x this is a composite function g g x now we need to simplify multiply the first two 1 times 1 equals 1 1 times negative 2x negative 2x negative 2x times 1 negative 2x negative 2x times negative 2x positive 4x squared now for the second bracket this negative will change this sign negative times 1 so negative 1 and negative times negative 2 equals positive 2 into 1 minus 2x now you need to expand this bracket and to combine the like terms after it, after that so 1 minus 2x minus 2x plus 4x squared minus 1 and 2 times 1 equals 2 2 times negative 2x negative 4x now we have 4x squared negative 2x negative 2x and negative 4 so negative 8 at them and we have 1 minus 1 so 0 plus 2 so 2 so 4x squared minus 8x plus 2 e find hhx giving your answer in its simplest form hhx this means 1 over and substitute x by hx so 1 over 1 over x so this equals x because this means 1 divide 1 over x so 1 times x over 1 so equals x find j of 5 j of 5 so both x equal 5 so this will be 5 power 5 equals 3125 g find x when j negative 1 of x equals 2 now transpose j negative 1 to the other side by j so x equals j of 2 so now substitute x by 2 so 5 power 2 equals 25 h jx equals hg of negative 12 find the value of x jx which is 5 power x equals hg of negative 12 so you need to find g negative 12 and substitute in h so first g negative 12 so put x equal negative 12 in g so 1 minus 2 into negative 12 equals 25 now substitute in h so h 25 equals 5 power 25 now 5 power x 
equals 5 power 25 so base equal base so power equal power so x equals 25 sorry i did a mistake h25 equals 1 over 25 so this 1 over 25 which is can be written as 1 over 5 power 2 which is 5 power negative 2 now 5 power x equal 5 power negative 2 so x equals negative 2 number 11 complete the table for the three sequences sequence a 13 9 5 1 each time we subtract 4 so the fifth term 1 minus 4 which is negative negative 3 now to find the nth term because subtract 4 so negative 4 n plus what or minus what find the zero term so 9 13 then add 4 so 17 so negative 4 n plus 17 or you can find the nth term for this type of sequences by the rule which is a plus n minus 1 into d a is the first term which is 13 in plus n minus 1 into d d is the common difference which is negative 4 each time we subtract 4 now expand negative 4 times n negative 4 n and negative 4 times negative 1 positive 4 plus 13 so negative 4 n plus 17 for sequence B, 0, 7, 26, 63, he didn't subtract fixed number, so we need to find the first difference, second difference, and so on. So 0, 7, 26, 63, the first difference, 7 minus 0 equals 7, 26 minus 7 equals 19, 63 minus 26 equals 37 so the first difference is not constant the second difference 19 minus 7 equals 8 37 minus 19 equals 18 the second difference is not constant so now if the second difference is not constant so maybe this sequence cubic sequence the cubic sequence we have the cube numbers which is n power 3 n power 3 the first term 1 the second term 2 power 3 which is 8 and the third term 3 power 3 with 27 the fourth term 4 power 3 64 now compare this sequence the cube numbers with the sequence you have 1, 0, 8, 7, 27, 26, 64, 63. Here subtract 1 each time. 1 minus 1 equals 0. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 27 minus 1 equals 26. 64 minus 1 equals 63. So to find the fifth term, find n cube, then subtract 1. So the nth term for this sequence, n power 3 minus 1. And the fifth term, 125, which is 5 power 3. Minus 1, so 124. Now for sequence C, 7 over 8, 8 over 16, 9 over 32, 10 over 64. Look for the numerator, 7, 8, 9, 10. So each time add 1. So the nth term for the numerator will be 1n. 1n plus what or minus what? Find the zero term, so eight, seven, then zero term will be six because subtract one if you go back. Nine, eight, seven, then six, so one n plus six or n eight plus six. For the denominator, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. You multiply by two each time. So this geometric sequence for geometric sequence we have the nth term a r power n minus 1 is the first term which is 8 r is the number you multiply each time which is 2 the common ratio power n minus 1 
You can simplify this denominator because eight can be written as two power three times two power n minus one add the power so three and negative one equals two so two power n plus two so the denominator in the simplest form two power n plus two now for b one term in sequence c is b over q write down the next term in sequence c in terms of b and q in sequence c for the numerator we add one so the next term after that one for the numerator b plus one and for the denominator we multiply by two so for q multiply by two so two q so this is the next term 